But two starts from here. The next question. Calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Here you can see the current I is leaving the circuit from this point and it's leaving from here. So first of all, I will consider that the current I is entering the circuit and at this point, uh, you can see here that the current will get divided. And this point where the current divides is known as junction. So I will take uh, the current I1 and I2 and I3. That means I'm taking that the current I is getting divided into current I1, I2 and I3. And taking into consideration the Kirchhoff's law, which said that the total current entering the junction is equal to the total current leaving the junction. So that means that the current I should leave the circuit from here. And as the I uh, is equal to I1 and I2 and I3, so these three currents should reach at this point. So let's see. The current I is flowing through the 4 ohm circuit. It will reach here and then it will flow through uh, the 8 ohm resistor and it will reach here. So that means the current I is reaching this Point. And the I2 current is flowing through 3 ohm resistor and the I2 current is also reaching this point. And the current I3 will flow through 1.5 ohm resistor. It will reach here and then it will flow through 4.5 ohm resistor. It will reach this point. So as you can see here that the current I1 and I2 and I3 are reaching this point and as I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to the current I. So that means the current I is leaving the circuit. So the same current I is entering the circuit at this point and the same current I is leaving the circuit as this point. So this justifies the junction rule. Now we will take into consideration the series and the parallel combination uh, basis that when the same current flows through the resistors they are in series and the resistors get added. But when the current divides uh, that means those resistors are in parallel combination with each other and we take the sum of the reciprocals. So following that we will find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So first of all we will consider the current I1. This current I1 is flowing through 4 ohm resistor and it's flowing through 8 ohm resistor. So these two resistors will be in series combination with each other. So first of all we will calculate equivalent resistance across A and B that is series combination so I have taken RS1 that will be resistance across A plus resistance across B and this is 12 ohm. Now these two resistors are in series combination and we have calculated the equivalent resistance that is 12 ohm. Now how the circuit will look let the circuit will look like this the equivalent resistance will combine so if we just draw an easy diagram of theirs so it will look like this and as you can see here that the current I is flowing through the 12 ohm resistor and the current I2 is flowing through the E resistor and the current 3 uh, is through the C resistor and the same current I3 is flowing through the 4.5 uh, resistor. So that means uh, I1 is in parallel combination with I2 and uh, it's in parallel combination with I3. And as the I3 current is flowing through the C and D, so these two will be in series combination. So first of all, we will calculate the equal in resistance of this series combination and then let's see how the circuit will look and uh, what next step we need to take. So if we redraw the circuit, it will look like this. This was the equivalent resistance of series that we calculated, that is 12 ohm. This works across uh, E resistor and this is C and D. So now as you can see that the same current is flowing through C and D. So first of all, I will calculate the uh, equivalent resistance in series for this combination using the series combination. So the resistance in series, this is the second one, uh, that will be across the point CD. This will be equals to resistance across C plus resistance across D. So this will be 1.5 plus 4.5 and this will come out to be 6 ohm. Now, how the circuit will look and what more uh, calculations to you done to get the equivalent resistance. So the final circuit will look like this. This was the equivalent resistance which we have calculated through 
uh, RS1, and this is the equivalent resistance in series which we have calculated at RS2. Now, as you can see, that the current I is flowing through the resistor 12 ohm, the current I2 is flowing through the resistance 3 ohm, and the current 3 is flowing through the resistance 6 ohm. As different currents are flowing through it, as the current I got divided into I1 and I2 and I3, so these three will be in parallel combination with each other. So we will calculate the equal resistance through this parallel combination. So it will be RP1, that is the total resistance across the circuit. This will be equals to resistance across AB plus resistance across E plus resistance across CD. So now if I calculate here the equivalent resistance in parallel, this will be 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6. On solving this, we will get 7 upon 12 and on taking the reciprocal, that is the total equivalent resistance, this will come out to be uh, 12 upon 7, that will be 1.71 ohm. So this is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.